joining me here for the live English commentary is Mr. Michael Anderson. And I'm Dong Wang. Great to have you with us, Michael. This is going to be really a seesaw battle between the two Chinese players who know each other so well. And it's uh, a replay also on the World Championships finals from, from Rotterdam. And I thought it was a very, very good game. And obviously, small margins. And it's going to be interesting to see how this run uh, pans out. Indeed, and also this is all a deja vu of last year's World Cup, as we know that uh, in Macburg, uh, last year, Wang Hao defeated Jiang Jike in the final, and of course that was Jiang Jike's first experience in the World Cup, and ever since he's matured so much uh, this year in May, in Rotterdam, he has looked at the World Championship Men's Singles Title Trophy. When you see him play here, he's such a confident young player, and obviously Wang Hao's been there for a long time now. It's on its way out uh, to a sense. You know, when will that happen? When will that <laughs> change of generation and domination happen? That's of course, he doesn't want to be honest about that soon yet. <laughs> but this is no, this man is incredible, Michael. To me, three-time World Cup championship title holder, and also in addition, two times as a run-up and once as the third place finisher. That's incredible. A long list of records. Credit to this man, Wang Hao. Absolutely. I mean, for such a long time in the top of the world. But it's a similar thing. You, you, you come in as, as a young player in the Chinese team and you have such a momentum uh, built up and you, you, you're there because you have acquired some, some excellent techniques. That's really what Sang Yik is showing any time you see him. Yes, uh, indeed. And of course, ranked number four in the world, Jiang Jike is definitely on a rise here. Uh, this year's world championship title has given him... All right, here, folks, the game is about to start. Jiang Jike, as we mentioned before, on many occasions, domestically and internationally, has met Wang Hao. However, last year, they were in Magburg, Germany. Wang Hao handled the pressure pretty well by defeating Zhang to win his third title of the World Cup. It's interesting, though, to also feel that it's so important now, these matches in between the players, and that's really what's changed the last couple of years. I mean, really now, they're fighting it out at the table, and there's no, no hesitation whatsoever in terms of attention and, and motivation in the matches itself. So it's, that's fascinating to me, because there's so many... There's, a, there's such a new dynamic around the competition within the Chinese team as well. Indeed, indeed. And also, this is going to be real business here between the two. As we know, they're both vying for a spot in the Olympics in this highly competitive Chinese squad. Any victory on this big occasion, when you rise to that occasion to challenge, etc., means so much. And this is the way to impress your team, your team management, particularly your head coach, Liu Guoliang. You only have to go back to Rotterdam and, and see how Sang Yik celebrated his victory. Oh against the, that's a, <laughs> how can you forget that moment? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it tells you also that the, the, the motivation is extreme, extremely high, and, and it's so inspiring for the sport itself. Although you see two Chinese players, like, oh, well, it's boring. I don't think it's boring at all. No. I think it's very, very interesting. It's fascinating to see these battles going on. and. The whole dynamics of the Chinese table dance is also changing because private coaches are behind private teams Indeed. in terms of management and also endorsement money on the other side as well. So Honor, many, money, everything. And in addition, sorry for interrupting you, Michael, I ran into uh, Coach Liu Guoliang who told me that 
for the younger generation. He is encouraging them, especially one of the representatives, that's Zhang Jika in black here, to speak English, to reach out more. Things are changing in China as far as the younger generation is concerned. And I find that very good for our sport also because Zhang Yiki is a, is a guy that you, I said before, you, you really may like him a lot or you may think that his one some of his behavior is uh, not so good <laughs> right? and that's what i love i, I like with him as a, as a coming superstar definitely. with the individualism there involved <laughs> all right may i remind you once again you're watching the live coverage of the 2011 liver men's world cup in paris the capital of france and here with 4,000 people, a sellout crowd. We are in the stadium to witness the top class competitors. Wang Hao, the world number one player from China in red, and Jiang Jiko, the reigning champion of the world in black. First game is about to start. Beautiful backhand. Straight down the line there for Wang Hao to have a good opener. A very good opener. <laughs> good serve also by Wang Hao. And that, that's really the thing, you know, so small margins and also placement and spin and service. These players obviously know each other very well and you know, find that little bit of an edge in the tactical area is crucial. Sudden acceleration from his forehand. Certainly a beautiful beginning here. Three points in a row by Wang Hao. Something to remember though that Sangika hasn't played a, a whole lot of international uh, finals. And of course, Wang Hao has the experience in this situation also. It should not be underestimated. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. To get to his point, Wang Hao certainly has paid a lot for that with his tremendous efforts, etc. Well, if he does win here again, Michael, we know that this is going to be, a, you know, his personal best record, tying Marlin's record of winning four times in the world, I mean, four times in the World Cup event. Short. Good luck to also important to not to forget is that pressure is such a factor it's changing as well expectation pressure uh, suddenly you can feel that you have something to defend um, at times when you win a big title like Sang Yik mm -hmm. well, there you go just now we saw Liu Guoliang there and he told us that this is probably his most relaxing relaxing moment he doesn't have to coach anyone he doesn't want to take any side both are his players anyway and we joked that you must be so proud. He said, yes, but on the other hand, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day to watch some high-class competition going on between my players. <laughs> you know, this is a tradition in Shadow. When you have two players from the same country play out, none of them coaches will be there. <laughs> you just on your own, sorry. Strong start by Wang Hao, close to the table, really active both with his back and forearm, not giving an inch here. Seven two, a commanding lead by Wang Hao. Wow, good anticipation right there with his forehand cross court. Two eight, Zhang Jika is under pressure. And it, you know, in the way they train together, they, you know, live in the same dorm, etc. They know each other just so well. Every single move is something you cannot really get away from the attention from the other side. Oh, and then the question also becomes a little bit of a, of, of a mental state for this particular match and. If you see Sang Yik, it's very important when you're a young player progressing that you cannot really start defending something. You really have to keep going and you really have to have that confidence. And that's a different kind right. of confidence really than just coming from nowhere like he did in Rotterdam and that's just right. exploding. Yeah. 
he is from somewhere now. I mean, he's been so well noticed now, and he said that he has to adjust this kind of status change from being lesser known to really better known. Zhang Jiko is creeping in a little bit. 5 9. Let's see his two serves here. Short. Yes. Typical three ball play here. Well executed. And uh, Bang Hao couldn't really control that side over spin. And serve and just gave the ball out and then went to the corner and picked it up. Netted out, unfortunately. Same setup again, but this one he controlled the serve instead and just gave a short back and gained uh, the possibility to, to attack. So Wang Ho has got four game points here. One saved by Zhao. an exchange and Zhang just sent the ball into the net giving Wang Hao a chance and he has taken it to win the first game impressive start really active with his backhand uh, close to the table and Zhang uh, didn't get his his leg work footwork in order to catch that ball that flew right into his body and to the forearm pocket and deservedly uh, one game up for Wang Hao 11-7 we we'll take a short break. We'll be returning right after this. Welcome back. You're now with us on the live coverage of the men's final of the 2011 Lima Men's World Cup in Paris. Wang Ho took the first set, 11-7. Let's see how the second set or second game fares, especially the world champion. Jiang Jiko right now is under pressure. Wow, what a change of direction there, so sudden. And so strong both from backhand and forehand. Sometimes you look at Sangeek as only a player who, who works a lot, a lot with his forearm, but his backhand side is really strong as well. Back in exchange. Beautiful with his pivotal forehand. Wang Hao turned around by using his powerful forehand to nail it. Sharp. And his pivot around the backhand corner. Right? You know, if Chang Jiko actually wins here, this will be a bumper year for him, really. And he just, as you mentioned, won the world title in Rotterdam. And he will, let's just say, if he does capture this title here, he will be like his uh, teammate Ding Ying from the women's side. It's the youngsters. A it's a tough thing to do, to win uh, world championships and world cup. And I was told by our good friend Ian Marshall before here that you have to go back to 1991 to see to see that uh, the same player actually won uh, world championships uh, Jürgen Persson in Chiba 91 and then won the following World Cup so it's a tough about thing to do 20 years ago <laughs> <laughs> to maintain this kind of tough forum well let's see if Zhang Jika can answer Especially when he is under pressure right now. 3 2, jump. Good 
good serve by Sangik. You really got good spin on that one and got the opportunity to attack. So they're so small margins. Obviously, they know each other's service, but then how much are you able to release? You know, are you relaxed in your wrist, underarm, and, and so on? You really to push that extra couple of centimeters that you need to, to challenge. Good defense from Jung, solid, but the last one, the center ball just long. Incredible from one side. Michael, this is this sixth final appearance in this event. Unbelievable. You see that not the highest quality on that side and immediately you get punished. So the quality and service, what you put on the table each and every time you, you have the service, so important. 5-3, Zhang. Excellent service return by Wang Hao, really active with his flick, backhand flick, perfect direction down to the forearm pocket and saying he could try to cover with backhand but wasn't successful. Mm -hmm. And his backhand flick also has got this kind of extra rotation there to create more spin. Now successfully level the score now. And occasionally you see something a little bit like what I call heads down, is looking looking down, you know. This can be a confidence thing also, you know, you really have to keep your, your, as we said many times during this competition, your mental balance perfectly. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's one thing to learn as well. Well, as we said, he's definitely younger than Wang and he says a lot to learn a long way, even though he's captured his world title. I'm just saying that at this level, on this occasion, six times to be in the final for Wang Hao, that certainly shows his mental toughness. Both said that uh, prior to this tournament, they were not, or we were trying not to lose to foreigners. And so far, this mission has been accomplished by both of them. And they finally have got to the final to meet one from the top half, the other from the bottom half. Fantastic forearm counter top spin by Wang Hao. Back and exchange Wang Hao. Didn't control that backhand well. Hit the edge of his racket. Seven apiece. Got it. All of a sudden, he changed his strategy. Serving long. And that certainly caught Zhang off guard. Very nice. Fast service by Wang Hao. And he's tactically playing well also. That that direction down to Sang Yikis forearm, you want him to go over there and take the back end and then push the ball not directly back to the other corner but go middle again. Mm -hmm. And um, that's impressive. Making Jung Jiku a little bit uncomfortable there. Zhang Jika was trying to use his forehand topspin. 
but the ball went out. Can I go back three times in a row now? Excellent service. And that's such a, such a lot of spin and also a low backhand flick. So you cannot really do anything on that ball. Again, his forehand just missed that one, sending the ball long out, giving Wang Hao another chance to lead even further. 2 0. Wang Hao has extended his lead here. Uh, we take a short, short break. We'll be back with the third game. Don't go away. Welcome back. Wang Hao, 11-7, 11-7. Two in a row. He is leading. Now the pressure is definitely on the world champion, Jiang Ji Ke. Can he bounce back? But for me, uh, I do feel that Jiang Ji Ke is a fighting dog as his coach labeled. You can't ever count him out. Let's just see if he can really answer that. But it's a learning process, growing process as well, Michael, for Jiang Ji Ke at this stage. And you need to pressure. Is is it such a thing that changes all the time on the top level? You know, you win something, you believe maybe at that age you have to defend it every time, and mm -hmm. as soon as you more comfortable would be to be the challenger all the time. So, but that's something that he needs to learn. That's true. He said that he was one of the chasers before his world title, and now he's been chased. On the other hand, he still has other, his teammates, that he wants to chase. A very good position for him. Yep, more aggressive down here. Taking the ball early. I'm impressed by, by Wang Hao's service return so far. It's been of extremely high quality. That's indeed very true. You know, Mike, one of the reasons I do believe is that, as we said before, they train together in the team, they know each other so well. So, Jiang Jiko's service cannot really fool Wang Hao that much. No, but in Rotterdam also, he had some, some problems to, to come into an attacking position all the time. And that's, you know, small, small margins can be a daily, the daily form that comes out today and, and was different in Rotterdam is also small small things are changing and you feel confident in certain areas and definitely has been returning extremely well here been the more aggressive one mm -hmm. and so far also, also leading the match ah that's a beauty there all of a sudden back and block straight down the line there check it out Such a fast backhand, you know, taking it so early with that reverse penola technique. And, you know, really hard to see where the direction is coming. And if you go that down the line, that's an extremely difficult shot. And a tenacious and determined one there. He knows he has to really deliver good here. Because last week in Germany, he didn't do too well, according to himself, by losing to Arturov. On the other hand, he bounced back. He uh, avenged himself by defeating Arturov yesterday and now he is in the final leading by two games up Four. Five, three. Four. shaking his head now Sang Yegi didn't get good quality on that serve again so I think just the quality of service for the moment is on Bang Hao's side do you think it might have something to do with his uh, back injury as coach Liu to told us that you know after the Swedish Open they flew Jiang Jika back to China to, tr to be treated for his back, and then he got a cortisone shot. And now he's back here to compete. I th it might have some negative impact there. Or... Service also comes from the confidence that particular day, and it's so, so easy for us to say, okay, bad service, good service, but it's so 
difficult to keep the, the high quality all the time. And, and you know also in a match like this that you need to serve well because otherwise uh, you will to have to work from behind. Right, you lose your edge. Again, one hot is usually in this kind of rally a winner taking an upper hand. Very good timing also, picking up the ball at the right perfect moment. Underspin there. That's what he has to do now. I mean, he has to work a little bit more with his forearm That's in right. order to put pressure on. I, well, because clearly, Wang Hao is dominating the backhand to backhand game for the moment. You bet. Well, for Zhang, he doesn't get that name. Tibetan fighting dog without any reason at all. Now it's time for him to fight back. Especially, he is down by two. This is the third game. 2 1 and 3 0. What a difference. not happy with himself and that's just a misread on my house service but again good quality he's really pushing the envelope with his serve and really going maximum spin on, on the service really putting it perfect length where Sangigi cannot see whether it's long or short that's exactly the balance you need to serve with first arrow basically by my my house but it's tight now it's important it is you really can never count this young man out. He has a burning desire. And to win next year's Olympics certainly is one of his ultimate dreams. And for this man as well, two-time Olympic silver medalist. I'm scratching his head on that one. And I don't think he too happy, but a good serve again from, from Sang Inc. Actually, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, that man, Chinese guy, is the ambassador to France. And Adrien there, <laughs> you know, you are a little bit of a fight back also from yes. Wang Hao. There you go, the third position winner, third place winner, Ju se from Korea, who just defeated Mitsutani Jun from Japan. Point to Sanike came basically only from a much more aggressive service return and get the upper hand in that rally. Mm -hmm. A lot of participants are here witnessing this first class encounter. Just now we saw Tang Peng from Hong Kong, China. Beautiful rally there. Changing Whoa. direction, yes. Chico was not quite ready for the forehand there. Cross call. He sent the ball just long. I think it's a little bit late there and off balance. But what a good forearm top spin by Wang Hao there really you can see the spin in the ball and such a powerful shot that was a gutsy move there to change the right direction right there dramatically with a diagonally cross court 
Nine apiece. This game couldn't be better. Both players are fighting to the wire. Down to the wire there in this third game. Still, it could go either way. Ah, came out with a side on the spin there. And, and he knew that he was a little bit too eager to finish that point. Giving down now a game point to come back. And the ladder still holds the serve. Beautiful. There you go. Michael, what did I say? You never count on this Tibetan fighting dog. Well, I, I, I need a picture of this uh, the Tibetan fighting dog in front of me to really see what what it's all about but i can imagine that uh, it's not a very friendly dog no very vicious but you know he never really relinquishes so easily <laughs> okay so 2-1 Wang Hao is still leading however the gap has been narrowed we shall return right after this Xiao Zhan, one of the uh, coaches from China, assisting Liu Guoliang in this Chinese squad here. Well, the reigning world champion Zhang Jiker certainly has given us at least a ray of hope, if not more, by coming back. He just took the third game, 11-9. So it's a 2-1, Wang Hao leading. Ishikawa. <laughs> and believe it or not, also confidence is, can change in a match like this very quickly. And it's it's a you know you win some of these rallies where you go out and challenge, win a top spin, top spin rally. It, it can eat. eat very easily translate to more points and Indeed. better confidence and then more relaxed service. You know, you're so right that this is also a psychological battle between the two of them. They know each other so well, read each other's mind, etc. I mean, any shift of psychological edge could influence the whole game. Zhang is fighting back strong. A good start for him. A test to Wang Hao now. The reigning World Cup champion. Wow, look at that. The Tibetan fighting dog definitely is back. But it's such a wonderful uh, guy like that. I mean, you really see the youthfulness in, in him as well. You know, now up and jumping, you know, from being a little bit subdued in this match. So That's right. That's what Liu Guolin likes about. He says that, you know, even if he is down, this player is always, you know, always has a burning desire there wow five points in a row in this game what more can he ask for i have that emotion really tough tough work and then put the fist up why not i mean this is a little bit like uh, in tennis you know roger federer against perhaps you know, one of his best friends etc the two of them know each other so well and they are good friends but encore sorry you are my nemesis nemesis <laughs> and also difficult to say how a play would build up his confidence a lot of times you need to go out in some of these rallies and and really execute some of these uh, wonderful good shot get the crowd involved and then you can start relaxing a little bit and if you relax then your quality of service normally much better 
And I think that Sangik is now finding a better groove or better rhythm in his service as well. Ramsau just answered back with his back and flick. Cross court. He is on board now in this game. Making it two in a row. Explosive service. And direction time is tough on that one. Really, you know, good pace on the serve from Bang Hao. Pushing his opponent away from the table. Jika just got another point. Seven two. This is going to be very tough for Wang Ho to bounce back in this game. Oh, a commanding lead enjoyed by Zhang here. Uh, reverse side under. Fooled Wang Ho on that serve. Mm -hmm. The latter didn't read well. Boy. And he knows that this probably is it for this game. Most likely the two will be back to square one. Jung is not gonna let this game go away. used a timeout yet. That critic moment hasn't come. They're both thinking the same thing. I'll save it for <laughs> the seventh game. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if necessary. 9-3. Oh. Well executed with his strategy. However, it's just the forehand went too long. Wait for that one, we really didn't get his footwork in order. Wang Ho got two points in a row. Game point for Chang. Making it six game points here. Short, short. And that's it. Well, Jimmy has successfully leveled the score to a piece. And this is definitely far from over. A seesaw battle is still awaiting everybody. We shall return right after this. Once again, bonjour. Ça va bien. Greetings from Paris, the capital city of France. And you are with us on ITTV, witnessing some brilliant top-notch class table tennis of the 2011 Libre Men's World Cup. Wang Hao and road champion Zhang Jike are fighting for the title here over the weekend. Two apiece.
really good control from Jiang Jiku's side. Yeah, it took a safe shot that really blocked the ball over, but was lucky, a little bit lucky with the direction of that block as well. And this is a really a critical game here. Oh, oh boy, is he pumped up now. <laughs> Two in a row, Jiang Jika. And two in a row in Wang Hao's service also. That's exactly. important. And those points are, are hard to get back. That's mm -hmm. Because Jiang Jika is also starting to serve much, much better in the third and fourth game. Yeah, well deceived. This is a little bit similar to what he did in the previous game. A very good and positive start for Jiang Jika now in his fifth game. in a row. So Jiang Jika, nicknamed Tibetan Fighting Dog. Searching for the same thing, and sometimes you have to think a lot more forward on to, to really become aggressive again. Indeed, because you then you get your footwork involved and take a few risks. We're oh! still trying to uh, change the direction of the ball, especially with the uh, placement there, but he didn't nail that one. Speaking of nickname, Wang Hao also has got one. In Chinese, they call him number two in thousand years, which means that actually he lost twice in the final of the Olympics, finishing twice in a row as a silver medalist. And he's not happy or not particularly amused with that name, but he needs to really prove himself that he's not just number two. I gave him a chance in London. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he wants to do. Certainly maneuvering his opponent here successfully. A good lead, 6 1. Forehand topspin. Good rally. And uh, important for Wang Hao to win that point. And you can still, even if you go on to lose this game, you, you bring that exactly that point with you in the next next game. Yes, indeed. Morale-wise, Wang Hao certainly doesn't want to lose to his opponent. Back and flick there. Beautiful. But a lot of power. The most interesting is service from the forehand side. Also in the World Championships, finally used that serve a few times. And just that change of direction is so, so important in mm -hmm. this case. Just to get another ball to work on. Goal! Wow. Chang is totally, totally charged there. It's a gutsy move to place the ball right to Wang Hao's forehand there. Seven three. Short ball. Wang Hao is losing a bit here. I think he's lost now a little bit of confusion how he's going to score points because also the other players saying he's playing extremely well and you feel that you know how I'm going to score I'm changing this I'm changing that mm -hmm. but uh, you got to find that balance again between good service return and attacking your own on your own well 
A commanding lead created by Jan here, making things more difficult for Wang. Yes, this Drew Thomas finally got a bit of slip and a little bit out, and Sangiki was there right away with a lot of spin. And on that particular shot, you have, it's very difficult to do anything. The ball just drops and just disappears from your eyesight. Indeed. Look at his facial expression there. He was not happy with that miss. Whoever takes this game will definitely have some psychological edge in the next one. Wang Ho is just not sharp anymore. Started off very well and, and was really convincing in his backhand game. And now tights are turning a little bit and, and uh, Sangiki is now controlling his backhand better, moving what we call backhand footwork a little bit better. Mm -hmm. He's keeping the pressure on and, and Wang Ho instead is forced to take a few risk shots with his backhand. 10-5, five, five game points. And that's it. Zhang Jike nailed this one without any problem. 11-5, making it 3-2. He has won three games in a row. Now he is the leader. Let's see if Wang Ho can be up there to challenge the new or the late arrival. We'll be back. So there you go, Wang Ha won the first two games, 11-7, 11-7. Yet Zhang Jike bounced back, 11-9, 11-9, and 11-5. Hence, the leader has changed. Zhang Jike is the one, and Wang Ha is the one to chase now. He's really been playing well now the last two games. Zhang Jike outscoring Wang Ha combined 22-9. This is, definitely has become a do-or-die game for Wang Hao in order to survive here. He needs to enhance the level, and he certainly did this time with his point. Making Zhang Jiko very difficult to return. Got it! Oh. Forget what he said, though. pushing the envelope, right? That's right. <laughs> Backhand block there, echoed with his sound in Chinese, which means what a beauty, beautiful shot to galvanize himself. But you're right, Michael, this is not really something like a performance. This is really a real test for both of them. They run with both of them, are giving it all out. They won this title. One wants to define it. The other one really wants this title so badly. Again, back to change. The winner is still Zhang Ji He. Beautiful read and also helped by a, a fantastic dynamic football.
for a glug there between the back and Rallis and then easily reading that ball and in right away with a good forearm. Can Zhang Jike repeat Ding Ling's success after winning in Rotterdam? And looks like he is on his way. Ooh. Tough and serve there, plus a back and flip. No chance at all for Wang Hao. It's a misread on the spin, on either side under or side over, and really well covered by, by Sang Yiki. Also, very difficult to read that kind of is it side over, side under. Mm -hmm. Wang Hao thought side under, he just put the racket there, and then the ball rises up, and Sang Yiki punished. That's a beauty. Fantastic. And really impressive how he, strong he is in, in, when the ball comes out, also in terms of keeping the, the timing in front of your body and giving yourself a lot of time. An no. Excellent, excellent shot. Indeed. The pressure definitely is on the defending champion. He won the first two games and he lost the next three in a row. And now he's under pressure by trailing two points down. Test for the defending for the defending champion. Good fight back though from Bang Hao there. He's leaning over and really pushing, putting a, a good good forearm top spin in the perfect direction there against Sangyik's forearm pocket. And the back end exchange ended with Wang House netting the ball out. The change also in the last few games is Sangyik's footwork now is much, much better. Yes. So he's between hitting the ball or, or contact with the ball, he's really activating his footwork mm -hmm. and it's been successful for him. Keeping the gravity down there with fast footwork. Another similar mistake. It's really tough to call Wang Hao the older generation because he's still only 27 years old. But it still is, you have this uh, the defender and this challenging player in, within the Chinese team as well. That's interesting, I find. That's right. So highly competitive. We're talking about time now, finally. Wang is the first person to call it. The situation doesn't look too rosy for him right now. All of a sudden, Zhang just definitely lifted his level of competitiveness, making Wang feel very uncomfortable. Interesting. Look at it, he was telling himself, using the brain, using the brain, think hard. Liu Guoliang, I don't know which side he's taking now. <laughs> Difficult, isn't it? It looks very neutral. Relaxed, <laughs> at least on surface. <laughs> Six three. Zhang Jike is serving. Again, Zhang Jike is the winner here. Kong Chen, the Chinese ambassador to France, concurs. Such a good work with his racket and it's executing his technique extremely well. Wang Ho would like to uh, achieve his ultimate goal to get the Olympic gold medal in the singles. He knows that he has this hurdle to overcome in the team. This is highly competitive. Unbelievable. Hey. 
short. Wow. Down the middle right there. Close to the body of Wang Hao. Again, it worked in Zhang's favor. Fantastic back two, two back and shots. One there. Next one there. Really, really hitting that one, one well and perfect timing. Moving away from the ball and then really pushing it across. Very, very strong upper body and body support from Sangik. Beautiful backhand cross goal. There's so much power there. And he knows that he is only two points away from a new title. And what did we say? 22-9. He had uh, 9.31 against 12. <laughs> that's right. And that's impressive at all because Van Gaal has done a fairly okay match anyway. It looked like um, completely without chance now in the last three games. And that tells you a little bit about Sanjiki's level. How he raised the level of the goal boy. Hasn't he? Wang Hao is in jeopardy. And championship point has come. My God, this young man is so tenacious. Viciously should show, strong. Should show seven fingers instead of one. Or seven match points. Impressive. He is on his way to Olympics. The Olympics in London for sure. Thought he wants to. I thought he wanted to have a timeout. He doesn't have to. He hasn't used it yet. Seven championship points in his pocket. And that's it. What a comeback for this. Young rising star, world champion Zhang Jiku, and now has become the World Cup champion, a new title holder. He yeah. definitely is on his way to the Olympics. <laughs> well, now he's taking off his shirt. <laughs> but no, <laughs> he didn't know that. <laughs> no, I think uh, this is a superstar in the making for our sport, and I really like his uh, his uh, attitude. Uh, and the way of celebrating here in Paris. And first place since 1991, Jorgen Persson, first played in 20 years to win both the World Championships and the World Cup. What an achievement. He just defeated world number one, Wang Hao, in such a fashion and finished everything on a high note. Congratulations to Zhang Jike, a real, real big star now to winning in Rotterdam. Now he has proven he's still perhaps one of the best, if not the best, and he's on his way to London. Zhang Jike. What a victory here, and what a comeback after trading down 2-0. And he won four games in a row. I did it in a very, very convincing fashion. Got his footwork going, worked with his backhand, top spin much better, found a much better distance to the table and really dominated from that point. But he was in trouble though in the beginning with heads down and so on. But wonderful to see also that the emotions takes over. He's becoming more positive at, at the table and really showing that star demeanor that I think he has. Unbelievable from this young man. So Wang Hao finished second. Jiang Jike just toppled him, becoming the new World Cup title holder. Once again, our congratulations to this smiling young man from China. And coming up next, we have the coverage or live coverage of the award ceremony.